How's it going everyone? Welcome to another video here on the Fox Tech YouTube channel. This time we talk about the uh, Apple Pay on the Apple Watch and the thing or the topic is for today, how do you go about it? How do you actually start a payment without double pressing the side button? Because the usual way, of course, how you do it is you have to type in the passcode and as you're in here, you double press the side button next to the digital crown, the page where you can actually see the cards and you basically just set it up normally and you have the wallet there. You can hold near the reader and actually um, perform payments. So that's how it generally works. But I'm going to show you a different method and something that's also possible. So if you are on your iPhone, which is paired to that Apple Watch, it has to be the link because of course yeah, the Apple Watch has one main iPhone which is connected to. So on this one, open up the watch app like this and you can see a bunch of different things. So you have to scroll through the settings, but I want you to click on accessibility. So accessibility is right there, part of the uh, this section under general. So go ahead and go here and if you scroll down you can see there's the option for assistive touch and I have it enabled in case you don't just turn it on like this and this option is very important and pretty interesting because there are some things which you can definitely check out in here. So tap on inputs and hand gestures. So hand gestures are in here and as you can see I can choose what's going to happen after individual hand gestures. Of course if you have it disabled make sure it is turned on. We have pinch, double pinch, clench and double clench. By the way guys if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a hundred percent free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. Now, if you don't know what these actually mean, you have to tap on the learn more button and it's going to show you and explain to you. So pinch is tap a pointer finger to the thumb. So you go like this, then double pinch is just repeating that clench is just clenching your fist like this and double is just doing it twice in a row. So you can try it out on your Apple watch. If you want to, you can choose pinch and like do that in here if you really want to. So it's going to recognize it. But anyways, if you don't want to just press the double uh, double press uh, the side button to activate Apple Pay, you might choose that the gesture, for example, something like pinch is going to activate Apple Pay. So you can see Apple Pay is uh, the option which is going to be activated with pinch. So that's an option as well. You don't uh, have to just press the double uh, double press the side button anymore. So that's really useful, of course. So as you can see right here, I can just double pinch or do it like this. You can see if I double pitch, the card is going to be like coming here, but I'm still not able to like press or get to the uh, payment. Of course, the card has shown up. If you can see it in here, the card has shown up on my Apple Watch, but I can still not use it because I still have to double click to pay it. And that's the thing you should know about your Apple Watch that the side button is directly linked to the secure enclave, which is bypassing the operating system and application processor. So this direct connection ensures that double click actions cannot be tampered with by software, which is of course, going to safeguard the security. So you cannot really disable the uh, the measure really because it's just how it is. But I'm just showing you the shortcut which you can use to get to the Apple Pay. But yeah, this doesn't really help a lot. I'm just showing you how you can use the pinch gesture to actually get to the Apple Pay. So yeah, that's about it. I wanted to explain and show to you how it works on the Apple Watch when it comes to Apple Pay. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe down below so you never miss future videos like this one. And I will see you then. See you guys later.